guys hi youtube welcome back to my channel so this video is for all the moms out there um all the parents um out there and especially new uh, moms uh when your kid gets sick um it's really frustrating um and you just want to do everything you can to pretty much make them feel better um tylenol is typically something that's recommended a lot you know even for pregnant women and things like that but there's times when tylenol is not going to do it um you're going to be walking through the aisles of target and walmart and trying to figure out you know just something to give them um so these are some of the things that have worked um from when my son was pretty much like a few months old to now that he's almost three these are things that are pretty much in our cabinet right now and we use them often um so i'm gonna get started uh, my mom-in-law has been really useful and really helpful in helping us navigate like this uh, being a parent thing uh, but also helpful in like natural remedies uh, whenever my son was having issues um, just from experience and being that you know she was um, she's from Mexico and stuff like that they also have natural remedies growing up in Africa my mom also had natural rem remedies that worked um, other than just buying medicine and things and doctors and stuff like that so I feel like yeah sometimes natural remedy remedies are really better than you know giving meds and going to a doctor and things like that anyway so do talk to your doctor I'm not telling you that this is what you have to use I'm just um, just sharing um, to hopefully help somebody out there so one of the first things is you're gonna go through when your kids are younger is teething um, my son didn't really go through a lot with it because my mom my mom-in-law pretty much told us that uh, that you know onions pretty much work um, giving them uh, I believe a maybe a green one or a white one to chew on um, really really helps with teething so pretty much I didn't have to go through anything with my son when he was going through it um, he could bite on a few things here and there but he didn't have anything dramatic um, and it's because we gave him um, an onion to chew on um, so that's really one natural ne remedy that really really was a lifesaver because I've heard stories where people have really went through so much um, when their kids are teething uh, the next thing is cornstarch. Cornstarch is usually for baking and things like that, but it's really, really, my mom-in-law brought up that it really works for rashes and like sunburn and like getting, you know, like certain reactions, like maybe if your kid is playing outside and they touch some kind of like a plant and they're itchy and scratchy. Cornstarch was a lifesaver. Uh, my son had like rashes on his arms and I believe because I gave him uh, one of the Zarbi's products that had honey, a higher percentage of honey in it, and it made him um, get rashes. So we put this on with a little bit, um, and we, the next day he was pretty much, they started going away. So cornstarch is really used for, for rashes, um, like rea allergic reactions to things and things like that. Okay, the next thing is saline um, solution spray. Um, yeah. You're gonna have moments when your kid is really stuffed up, um, their nose where they have trouble sleeping at night and they can't breathe very well and things like that. This has been really useful, so I just put this. It's a fight, you know, to put it in his, it, to spray it in his nose. But hey, we fight and then I put it in and, you know, a couple of days I noticed that his boogers and all like, the nasty stuff start breaking down so he's not as, you know, frustrated and things like that. Okay, the next thing. This is a typical, every mom had it at some point, is a diaper rash cream. No, on top of being just the dry brush cream, uh, my son is ch is a chunky one. So sometimes I've noticed that he chafes um, on it when he's running around a lot and things like that. So I've been putting this pretty much often, like when he's just like playing, I put it like near his thighs and things like that so he, it doesn't rub. So that's really been used for just beyond the diaper. It's been pretty much helping him kind of not, you know, have that chafing going on um, in certain areas like friction pretty much. Um, it's really been useful for him, so I would recommend having that in your cabinet. Um, the next thing we have are two things. One is this guy, and the other one is this one. This is Pedialax uh, chewable tablet for constipation. Um, then this is constip constipation is prebiotics. So pretty much these two things are really, really nice if you are, um, I can leave links below if you guys need them for what I'm talking about. Uh, useful for constipation. Um, I noticed that when my son started using formula, he would always be like backed up. Um, if you have tried everything you given, you gave them fruit. Um, you tried prune juice and all the stuff. Um, you tried beans and things are not working. Um, I would always use this, and I would put this in his uh, milk a little bit or in his juice. It doesn't have any taste or anything, so they can't um, really taste it. Uh, and within 20 minutes, like, he was pretty much ready to go. So it's been a lifesaver. Nothing worse than when your kid is backed up um, and he's not able to go for maybe a couple of days. 
yeah I think people will tell you, you know let give them water um, give them fruit give them this and that but there's times when this all that fails and your kids still cannot go um, so that was one thing that I always did and 20 minutes in he was ready to go so that was a lifesaver um, these two are Tylenol and Advil you always these are always a must um, a lot of doctors recommend them um, and they're pretty much useful for high temperatures I believe if your kids temperature goes to uh, like 104 you're supposed to go to the emergency room you don't even need to worry about giving medicine you have to go um, and take them in but they're being used for body for body aches um, maybe if they're not just not feeling so great you can kind of see like my son will give me like you know his eyes start like acting kind of different when I know he's not feeling too good um, he'll start getting hot like in his armpit he'll start getting on the back of his neck and I just kind of like know like uh oh it's time for a little time to know um, so that's been a lifesaver Another lifesaver has been basic Vicks. Um, I used to remember my mom used Vicks for everything in Africa and then it's funny that my mom-in-law also um, kind of used Vicks on my son and I used Vicks on him and it was just like a Vicks revolution. No, I'm just kidding, but pretty much we use Vicks a lot. Uh, our main thing is like that I use it for is just for his chest like that. I rub him like when he's really sick. I give him a nice shower and I rub his whole body with it um, and I'll notice that he'll sleep way better. Uh, but the main thing that I also use it now is toddlers are pretty much daredevils uh, Yeah, they try everything and they fall and they have scars, right? The thing that you can do to avoid scars is to pretty much put Vicks right away the minute they fall So whenever they have a little wound or something like a slight bleeding or whatever Put Vicks on it because sooner or later um, their scar is pretty much not going to be existent Like it just stops the scars from starting So anytime he falls we're like go get the Vicks <laughs> Um, another thing that I didn't mention um, that was really, really useful in the first few months when my son was born was manzanilla uh, tea, which is basically chamomile tea, um, and rack water. Those two things were really useful for my stomach, for my son's stomach, because he had colic. So the way I see colic is just basically having stomach issues, um, and they get really fussy, they get very aggressive, they get, they cry and cry and cry um, to the point where it's like almost nonstop. Um, so we use grab water, I'll leave a link for grab water, um, and chamomile tea. We'll just kind of boil a little bit in the, uh, in the microwave or in a pot and let it sit and then we'll put a little bit of sugar, put it in a little sippy cup or a bottle and let him drink it and I would notice a difference, like it looked relieved a little bit. Um, and it just helped calm down his stomach. Um, yeah. So pretty much those are the things that I would say that so far, uh, my kid is almost three and I hope to keep them around and always use them whenever there's issues with my kid, you know. Um, I, once I said, you know, I'm not recommending that you go out there and you get this stuff. I mean, talk to your doctor about it, but these are things that have really been a lifesaver. They've worked really well. Um, like when my son is having a cold, I have like a something down now that I do that helps. So one of the things is I know I was giving him a nice warm bath. I massage his body all over with that, um, the Vicks. I give him a little bit of Tylenol. Um, oh, the last one that I forgot, guys. Oh my God. And the Zarbe Zarbe's, it's been a good brand as well with cough syrup and mucus. This one really helps with just the coughing um, and then it helps with like body aches and it helps with, um, yeah, and the mucus, like when he's just like, you know, blobs of mucus everywhere, it really helps break that down. Um, it does have honey, especially the nighttime one. I don't recommend the nighttime version because that really gave him rashes, as I said uh, earlier. So I don't recommend that, but this has been something that we've had for many years. It's really been useful. Um, so I usually do that. I give him a little bit of that with a little bit of Tylenol, and then he'll sleep really well through the night, and he's not like just miserable. So... Pretty much, yeah, this is some of the things that I have in my cabinet that I always keep that I can always go back to whenever like I notice like my son is like not doing so great. Um, and just, it's just been a lifesaver. Um, and I'm so glad from my mom-in-law just knowing so many different, different remedies that are natural that can help as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to share with you guys that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.